again is we start out with some fresh onion and some celery. Let's get this on. A little bit, a teaspoon of olive oil. So put that in, we'll let it heat up a little bit. Then we're gonna put in the onion and the celery and let that cook up a little bit. And this is, like I said, this is kind of a fun recipe because um, a lot of the stuff you may have at home already, you know, so you can pull it out um, to this. After we've got the celery and the onion cooked a little bit, we're gonna add um, some chicken broth. We're gonna add some cream of chicken soup. We're gonna add a bag of mixed vegetables. We're gonna add some chicken. And this, you know, this is my favorite, but we can use the rotisserie chicken too that we have left over. We're gonna put in there, instead of cooking our own pasta or whatever, we're going to put in a package of the Stouffer's macaroni and cheese or whatever, um, and put that in for our soup. And to really make it cheesy, we're gonna put in some more of the processed cheese, what is it, Velveeta, I don't know. You, know, you shouldn't, I guess, use name brands, but too bad. I think we're gonna put that onion in. The next day, yeah. Well, you know, that's one of the things that um, for, for some of these recipes, you know, if you wanted to make this and, you know, there's only one or two of you at home, then don't make it in this. You know, we're going to make it in this. And there's so many different containers now that you can bake small. So, okay, give this a quick stir. Add our vegetables. Oh, let me cut up the cheese here. Keep it stirring so it's not browning. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and add our chicken broth. Now we're doing a little bit more cooking. chicken soup. Oh, it's going to come out nice. All right. And our vegetables. Let's see if we can stir that up a little bit. This is fun because you just throw all this stuff into the pot. Put our vegetables in and our macaroni and cheese. Now this has been sitting out, so it's probably pretty well thawed. No, not really. Some of it. Okay. You could. Um, you know, that, that, the only reason we're using this is um, so we don't have the, I mean, if you had, it'd be great if you made it the day before you had some leftover, whatever. But then if we're doing quick dinner ideas, then we'd have to get the pot out for the <laughs> macaroni. <laughs> so we're just keeping it simple this time. All right, we're gonna. So that's our pasta in there. We're gonna put some chicken in there and the uh, rest of our cheese, and we're gonna call it soup. And like I said, it is good. Let's see, we'll go ahead and cut this up first. And you know, this is really thick and creamy, and you know, we've, we've got 
kind of a lot of stuff going on in here, so I don't know that I would have this all the time. Because probably the sodium level and the fat content is probably not the best. But it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So we want to have some fruit with this. <laughs> now to sort of balance it off. I don't really think you need to have anything else. Well, and that's for dessert. I'm not talking about with your main meal here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> A little on the side. A little dipping sauce. I know, and everybody, you know, I guess with over the weekend was into the chocolate-covered strawberries, and I had to, um, I didn't have to entertain these kids because I'm an embarrassment, but um, <laughs> I had to make the food. It's okay to eat my food. I just can't dance. Um, and was making chocolate-covered strawberries like at 11 o'clock Friday night, so these kids came from their Christmas dance. I thought, hey, these are really good. I don't know why. They were so easy and fun to do. <laughs> no, the one I was fixing it for is a, it has a little germaphobe problem, so chocolate fountains just send her right over the edge. She doesn't even know. She doesn't even, she doesn't even look at those things. But I thought, you know, that would be, that would be a good little treat for this. You know, chocolate-covered strawberries are, are um, a good little treat. They have, you know, now with the, um, we've used it before, the quick and easy um, dipping chocolate, almond, or what is it, chocolate bark and dipping chocolates and all that. It's really easy to do that, and you're, you know, the, if you use, um, you don't use that much chocolate on them. So it's, you know, sort of a healthier alternative, if you will, than the brownies and the chocolate syrup. All right. There's our chicken chopped up. Now, like, you know, you know how I like this product, so um, that's what I'm using. But any leftover chicken you have or, you know, we've talked about if you're cooking chicken for your family and you're, cook you're baking breasts or you're boiling them or whatever, and you've got um, a couple left over, you know, keep them cut up in your refrigerator or freezer uh, and, you know, use them in things like this. All right, this is done as soon as everything all melts. All right. So that is our sewer. I'll let the cheese melt a little bit. And that will be done. And I don't know it doesn't need it, but if you felt inclined to sprinkle a little cheese on here, you could do that. Okay. There is our macaroni and cheese and chicken soup. <laughs>